In this video, I'm going to replace the throttle bearing, install the transaxle, and torque it down the spec on my K24 transmission. Here I'm pulling the fork back and I'm wiggling the release bearing towards the opposite end of the fork. Okay, once the release bearing is removed, now the next thing I'm doing is I'm removing the dust boot. Okay, you just want to loosen the clip behind here. Pull out the boot. sits like this. Yeah. I'm using brake parts cleaner with a clean rag to clean off any old grease and old clutch debris from the input shaft. Now I'm cleaning the pivot ball of any old grease and old clutch debris. Then I started to clean the case around the pivot ball and input shaft. I'm doing the same process with the fork now, just cleaning out all any old grease and clutch debris. And again, the second time, I'm just using another clean rag and I'm just going over everything again, making sure everything is nice and clean.
So once everything is cleaned off, I am now using Honda high temp Euro grease to lube up the input shaft, the pivot ball, and the fork. Here I just want to make sure I have a thin film of grease on both the input shaft and the disc splines. Make sure you don't want to put any globs of grease because that will ruin your clutch if it gets on the friction disc. On the fork, I will put Honda high temp Euro grease where the pivot, pivot ball sits and the ends of the fork where it holds the release bearing. I will also add Honda grease on the end of the fork where the clutch slave cylinder pushes on the fork. Here is a Honda OEM release bearing. I will also put a thin film of grease inside the release bearing. So now I'm going to put the retainer clip back on the fork. Then I'm going to put the new release bearing on the fork. So what made it easier for me to get the retainer clip on is to spread the retainer clip around the pivot ball. So I'm just going to put the dust cover back on as how I took it out. Inspect any oil seal. In my case, this is a 2013 Honda Civic SI transmission. So make sure you get the correct part number um, for your particular application. So here I remove the alignment tool. Right here, right? Uh, wherever, you, wherever you can get a good grip. Yeah, you can just grab. To get the transaxle lined up, um, it helps to have someone like here. I had my brother help me, which made the job much easier.
boat, this boat, 40, 47 foot pounds of torque. I torqued them already. I just wanted to show you guys on camera which boats I was torquing down. And here is the fourth boat at 47 foot pounds of torque. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to comment below. And please share this with your friends. Thank you. Mm -hmm.